Hello everyone and welcome back to the shop. We are here today because we added ABS to the NSX. And I know when a lot of people hear about ABS, they think of it as a hindrance on a car uh, and often associate it with longer brake distances or ice mode. When in reality, when you can use it, in a proper setup, ABS is an excellent addition to a car. Uh, pretty much every race car where it's legal uh, uses it. It is uh, beneficial for a couple of reasons. Number one, a good ABS system makes it very easy on the driver, where the driver can basically just stand on the brakes and the ABS will figure it out uh, rather than locking up the wheels. And then also secondarily because the ABS can control all four brake calipers individually, which a human could never do. So if one wheel locks up, the ABS slowly releases that one, then re-engages the brake rather than having to get off the brake pedal to get off the lock. So those two things are huge. Uh, it also helps in trail braking in various other ways. But uh, because of that, I wanted to add it back to this car. Uh, at first I was a little nervous about using a factory setup, which I used, which is the NA2 NSX Type R ABS, but I had read that it was really good. Talked to a few people that I knew were pretty quick on track and they said it was an excellent setup. So I went with that. Uh, a couple of other options which are common are the E46 M3 Teves MK60 unit, which is very popular in club racing. Probably costs about uh, $2,000 to $4,000 to do. Custom programmable. You can send the unit to a place in England, I believe it is, that will reprogram it for your exact car. Really neat. Uh, and then on the highest end of the spectrum for you know, the kind of stuff we do would be the Bosch M5 unit, which is seven to $12,000, depending on which one you're getting. They have like a club sport kit and then a more professional unit, uh, which is on the higher the $12,000 level, which is an incredible piece of kit. Uh, has a toggle switch where you can go to maximum ABS for the wet and turn it all the way off for testing if you're trying to figure out your brake bias. Very good setup, but it comes at a premium. I put this in half expecting to have to tear it out to go to the Bosch Motorsport setup since this car is pretty different from stock and I run much bigger tires. But uh, testing went surprisingly well. I won't spoil it. Uh, but uh, yeah, better than it had expected. And let's go see how it went. racer events. They're hosting a track day today. Just an open day to have some fun. We just put uh, the ABS system from an NA to NSX Type R into the NSX and I wanted to test it out, see how it uh, how it does. I've already run a session. I went out in session one and managed to do a 45-3 with a couple of things that were pulling my attention away. So I only did an out lap, that single lap, immediately did a 45-3. Uh, I was braking really early to see where the limit would be. And as it turned out, the ABS worked perfectly. So uh, on my in-lap, I was testing it and braking a little bit later. So there's definitely performance in there. I'm gonna go out for maybe one or two more sessions, see if I can go a little bit faster and uh, see if we can actually extract the performance from the from the ABS unit. So overall, super happy. And it looks like I won't have to buy a Bosch Motorsport ABS, which will save me seven or eight grand in uh, the budget to put elsewhere. So super happy about that. And uh, yeah, go ahead and run some laps. S2000, S2000, NSX did well today. This S2000 did well today. And that S2000 did well today. Uh, Matt was driving John's car, went really quick. He's been on these TVs, I think for like, got like four or five events now. Matt, what'd you run? Uh, 55-1. Damn quick, considering how clapped out these tires are. They're not clapped out, bro. <laughs> Enough with the negativity. <laughs> these tires are from 2012, and how many days have you done on these? I don't know. They're 2020, did you put your mind to it? <laughs> <laughs> You're like, I'm using them in 2020. These are 2020 tires. <laughs> nah, dude, that's fucking flying. Good job. Thank you, bro. Appreciate Hi, Mylene. She went faster than I did. What'd you run, 54? 
You want 50 flat? Oh my god, so fast. <laughs> <laughs> it's Jay's birthday. Happy birthday, Jay. Thank you. Love Thank you very you. much. Good to see ya. Fast boy Jackie. Get a 54 today, which is pretty damn impressive considering how his wing is pointed up because he has no front arrow, but he has this really beautiful K1 Labs front bumper. Super rad. Jay's car, looking real neat. And of course, it's not a track day if we don't have wool around. Because he's ignorant as hell and has freaking carbon doors, which is the coolest thing ever. Raffles to Rich's car. And then he also has a baller trailer and of course towing with Alexis. Mui lost her side skirt. Uh, intense a day for her, unfortunately. Absolute garbage and not because of the car but because of me I just had a terrible lap uh, made a lot of mistakes and still managed to do I think like a mid 45 and had one issue going into sunset where my foot basically slipped off the brake pedal and so I was on the brakes pretty late and the car still turned in perfectly which let me know that I can get on this ABS at the absolute limit of uh, the braking trail off of it and it'll make the corner I inadvertently found where I should be braking by making a mistake so that's a really good sign because now I think I'm gonna be able to brake probably like I don't know, 10, 15 feet later, every uh, every braking zone, which is going to add up to, you know, half a tenth here, a tenth there, depending on the corner. So I'm really excited. Hopefully do one more session and see if we can go faster this time. So uh, one last session and get out there. just ran uh, the last session that I'm gonna run today it was session three and 
the goal today was to come in and at least do some sort of 44. It didn't have to be faster, but try to get close to the lap that we did. Realistically, if I would have done a low 45, I would have been happy, but we went out and we did a 44-3, uh, going even faster than what we did at finals, uh, which was amazing blew my mind and the ABS is incredible. I'm actually very, very happy because I've been talking to a few friends and I told them I have expected to finish this day and then immediately rip it out to have to put in the Bosch Motorsport unit. But uh, in typical Honda fashion, like the rest of the car, it was amazing and it worked incredibly well. So uh, it's pretty cool that the car is almost entirely Honda parts in that oh sense and everything's working. So super happy. Um, I'm actually really, really excited because we're on the same tires we were at from finals. And granted, they don't have too many laps on them, but they probably are on their, like, I don't know, 12th, 13th heat cycle. And we've gone fast. The car has been pretty trouble free. Didn't add power, didn't do anything other than changing the ABS. And I did three hot laps total today. Um, I would just do a single lap per session versus finals where I had to work, you know, over the weekend to get that lap. So the car is easier than ever to drive and uh, couldn't be more happy. So, uh, yeah, excited. Now we're going to go walk around and uh, check out a few cars. Is there one? Next weekend's doghouse for lunch. It's Friday. Micah. Uh, James is very nice. GT3 RS. That's him over there. Hola. Good day. Nice, nice. Let's take a look at your S2000. The fancy swan neckness on it. Just for the last two sessions today. Oh, did you not have the wing on earlier? I didn't have it on today, or this morning and yesterday. Dang, trying that no aero life. How was it? It's pretty good. It's pretty um, I dropped, so I started this year at a 213 and then I got to a 209 flat. Nice! With no arrow? No arrow. Very yeah. cool. Did you go any faster with the wing? I did a 206, so a 205 predicted, so maybe next session. <laughs> so you're gonna go after one more? Yeah. Alright, fingers crossed. I have faith in you. 205s. Yeah, <laughs> Jose is going after one more, it looks like. There have been a lot of fits today, which is cool. I actually drove uh, Rocco's fit, which was really fun. Another fit. Per my usual, uh, I'm super late and everyone's loading up, so uh, big surprise. Yo! Our good friend Kyle Bedelford with his uh, NAS truck. Not his usual R34 GTR, but uh, we've come to love this thing too. Hello, hello. Thanks for having us, it's always awesome. I'm glad you had fun. <laughs> so cool. Yeah. What's up, man? How are you? Good, how are you? Good. What are you guys adjusting? Uh, spring rate change. So uh, we're adjusting the ride height back to where it should be. Yeah, I'm baller. <laughs> yeah, new shocks, new shocks for this thing, so we're kind of tuning them in. And uh, is this new for today? Uh, one event ago, they were new. Oh, cool! Yeah. How do you like them? I like them a lot. Yeah, Penske's yeah. are uh, second only to KW number one. <laughs> <laughs> hey, we had a budget, okay? <laughs> it's it's the track slut, you know. <laughs> That's Can't so go cool, too though. crazy. That's rad. Yeah, so it's been fun, just making changes all day long. Just go out, come in, make a change, and go back out again. And, it's been fun. Nice, nice. A good one. Well, good. You've been going quick out there. I heard you. Uh, you set a PB today. I think so. Yeah. Well, uh, 52. 52. So uh, in this truck, you did a 52. Very impressive. So I think you always shock people with what this thing does. <laughs> it's not bad for uh, low horsepower and kind of mid weight, you know? Yeah, because it's not light. What does it weigh? Yeah, it's like 2,900 with me in it. Okay. Yeah, exactly. So yeah. it's it's and not th heavy, horsepower. but it's not light. Yeah, exactly. yeah, 300 horsepower. So it's not crazy. I think people see the V and they assume it has like 500 horsepower, but it doesn't. Yeah, because it's got a like little seven and a quarter inch clutch, so it revs real quick. <laughs> yeah, so, like, exactly. Sounds, fast. sounds I'm gnarly. Like, I'm going down the straightaway like, ah, oh, come on. <laughs> <laughs> That's so cool, man. Well, yeah. good seeing you. Yeah, you go too. Walk, walk around. I, I like seeing you ripping it out there, dude. Thanks, thanks. It's been a good day. I can't complain. Yeah. <laughs> so, <laughs> any day uh, you drive it on the trailer is a good day. Yeah, exactly. Or drive it home. Are you guys doing the last session? We are, yeah. Hell yeah. We made a little weird random change. We'll try it out. It'll be good. Very cool. All right, man. Thanks good for luck. having us. Yeah, no problem. <laughs> Very unorthodox. 
FedEx track car. Hello. Hello. Max Boost. Auto cannon from days of our youth. If you're watching this, hello. Pretty cool four star delivery on that. S2000, nice. Typical no arrow S2000 dust uh, patina. <laughs> Sung out here. I think he PB'd too. Someone's going fast today. Johnson and his beautiful FD. Although Johnson's nowhere to be found. Getting an RS feature wing very soon. I think we're gonna do a custom mount on. Yeah. Hmm, let's see here. Still rotary powered, of course. A few more cars over there. Sun's S2000 and a Subaru. We've got Cecil out here in his E36. Freshly subdued. Backing up, Cecil. Yes, sir. Congrats on the sub two. Thank you, sir. No problem. See you later. See ya. Long time friend Sassy's car over here. Good ride height, although his bumper apparently is very unhappy. Nice simple EK. That was for a long time a street car. But Alex has always gutted it and he's ready to get out of here. How are you gonna say my car's not a street car? Look at this thing. Well, this is a real street car. At least I got a heater. <laughs> I don't got a bunch of stickers on it. You got a heater? You don't even have a heater. It's a heater. It's just, it's just the engine itself. I got more interior than this Chingadera. <laughs> How's your day? It's good. Not bad. Did you go fast? Good Did you PB? Yeah. What'd you run? 202. Nice. It's not bad for Federals. Yeah, not bad for not Yokohama's. The real deal <laughs> on this Federal time. stuff. The last time I was here was like four years ago. Oh, damn. I forgot you drove. <laughs> it's been that long. I didn't even realize you still did this. If I didn't lock up go straight off sweeper. Well, that's good. It's always that's a nice first. thing. <laughs> I used to going off. Oh, is that why your car's so dirty? Yeah. <laughs> that's okay. It happens. What happened to your bumper? Was this from Super? Yeah, it's been like that. Fix it. Yeah, fix it. For God's sake. Either I didn't use any gas or my gas gauge is broken. <laughs> Damn. Drove yeah. all day on track, full tank. Honda. How your miles per gallon? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> 100 track miles per gallon? Truly impressive. Is this still the same uh, B18C you built? Yeah, stock 96. Trans, uh, cause Austin. Very cool. Cause, excellent choice. Yeah, I'm happy with that. And of course, a Koyo Rad radiator. Always, Better be. Always. That's right. <laughs> How you doing? Are you going right now, Jose? Yeah. 49s? Try. <laughs> Good luck. Uh, thank you. John's car looking real cool. Don't look at this side. Don't look at this side? Oh, what happened there? Uh, my tire shredded. <laughs> Just block that real quick. <laughs> Did this thing sound so good? Loud. It's a good kind of loud. Yeah. <laughs> well, look at this side.
How's it going? Yo. That's far as future. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> he doesn't, he's not a mirror. He's That's his NSX. <laughs> what a world. Not quite there yet. Close. <laughs> Working so, on it. Uh, I'm Fast glad I finally got to see that car in person. The last time I Thanks, saw man. it was 2015 at Weekfest in San Jose, I think. No way, really? Are you from NorCal? Yeah. Oh, how cool. Damn, that was a long time ago. Yeah. <laughs> that was back when it was narrow body and uh, C-powered. And I got a flat tire, so there was really a flat while I was there. <laughs> did you yeah. time today? Yeah, we did. Oh, nice. What'd you get? Uh, 44.3. So a little wow. faster. Not a lot faster, but a little bit. That's crazy. Thank Amazing. you. Thank you. Thank yeah. you. I appreciate it. Congratulations. Thank you. Your cars are uh, good ride height and looking good, man. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, no problem. Stock CX drive train, so did the best I could with it. I, I achieved my goal of 219. Nice. I wanted to break into the high 10s, so pretty stoked with it. Very cool. Well, congratulations on being the goal. <laughs> Thank you. That is the very fun and cool thing about going to the track is that the lap time doesn't really matter as long as you uh, beat personal goals, right? Yeah. <laughs> and have fun. Yeah, exactly. That's so cool. Yeah. You got Alex's DC2 here. Yeah. Ooh. See you soon. <laughs> I should probably go load up the car. <laughs> <laughs> 